guys, welcome to my February favourites. If it looks a little bit different, I am using some different lighting today as my usual lighting, the bulbs blue, and tripped out the whole house. So I am trying something a little different. If you like it, do let me know. And if my eyes are freaking you out, I wanted to see what my coloured contacts look like on video. So I popped them in for this. Um, I probably won't wear them for others. I just wanted to see for myself. So let's get straight on into my favourites. First is this Happy Plugs Bluetooth speaker. This front bit does come off, so you can change the colour and okay I'll cut to it being off and it just looks like this so you can change these there are marble ones there are um, like metallic metal ones lots to choose from I just quite like this color I have a lot of this color on my room at the moment so it works really really well this is so easy to use you just simply pop on the Bluetooth function on your phone and it will connect and you can just play your music you can also use this for conference calls and all that kind of stuff i do really, really like it the one thing i wish you could change is sound piece ready to go pairing device even if you try and turn the volume down really really low when you turn it on or turn it off it's really really loud so if you were trying to use this in the evening in your house um other people would hear it and be like what the hell so you can change the volume on here and also turn it off. Sound piece going to sleep. <laughs> it's just quite loud. But it looks really, really nice. This is the smaller version. There is also a larger version. The sound quality is really good on this. I had another little um, portable Bluetooth speaker and this kind of sounds a bit bassier and just sound quality is better than what I've used previously. Next favourite is this Swell bottle. I saw this on Reem's Snapchat I believe. I've been looking for a flask, a bottle to carry around so I drink more water and I'm not using plastic bottles all the time because one I don't like the thought of reusing a plastic bottle and two it's just not good to just keep buying plastic bottles to be honest. So this is stainless steel and this is good because I've tried like thermos flask before and when I've drunk from it it just smells a bit weird or it just tastes kind of strange and this you don't have that at all this is in the hand painted marble wood effect so it just looks really, really nice as well it's meant to keep your hot drinks hot for 12 hours cold drinks cold for 24 hours and this is just making me drink more water and it looks really pretty as well also they work with charities and for this for everyone bought in the wood finish they are planting a tree moving on to some makeup items i have these palettes by collection these are the eyes uncovered i have been using which one i've been using the nude rose one the most i'm wearing it today so on the lid i've got this shade and then the end shade is in the outer third and to create that kind of smoky crease I've just used those two colours. These are really inexpensive, I believe they're around 4 dollars so there's nude rose, there is the smoky purple and there is also the smoky grey. Really do like these, they're inexpensive and they're really convenient to carry around. The next makeup favourite is this Too Faced primer. I've seen so many bloggers with this so I went and purchased it myself. The Too Faced Hangover Primer, this is a replenishing face primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredient and skin revival. I was really intrigued to try this because it is silicon free. This is really handy because it's just a little pump. One pump is a perfect application. It feels kind of like applying a moisturiser and when it kind of dries it's not so much tacky as such, it kind of is um, but not sticky and I've noticed when I pop my foundation on top which is a mineral powder it really sticks and gives a better coverage so I do really like this it has made my makeup last longer and I do like the thought of it being silicon free recently I've been trying to avoid products with silicon in um, parabens and um, trying to use things which are just free of stuff I don't really want to put on my face as a hope to make my skin better this little lip balm has been one of my favorite go-to's at the moment I have literally a little box full of lip balms but this is just so good this is the Be Lippy mango and mint I never really thought of that as a combination but my god this smells amazing I just want to eat this and a little goes a really long way it's 100% organic and it's just so nice I always pop this on my lips before I go to bed recently I have changed my moisturizer to this this is the Liz Earl super skin moisturizer with natural ne neuro neroli <sighs> I've done so many takes, we are just sticking with that one, the Roly. And this is a little bit more um, nourishing than the one I've been using before by them, which is the light one. 
It just smells so nice. In this it has cranberry rose hip seed oils. Usually I go for oil-free moisturizers, but actually this hasn't been making my skin any oilier or anything. And after this I use a facial oil anyway, which I find balances my skin. So this has just been so good. I use this both day and night. <sighs> Next favorite I'm actually wearing. Did some outfit pictures in my mirror and I kept them on. So these boots from Boohoo are so comfortable and I love them because they give me height. They also did have them in black, but they were sold out in my size. In a way I'm glad because all my boots are basically black and now I have a nice tan pair. Sometimes I don't really know what to wear with denim jeans, um, which are blue. With black, I just wear black boots and with blue denim, sometimes black boots just look a bit weird to me but I really love them with tan. These I found came up slightly big on my foot, so I just popped an insole in, and if anything, that made them just so, so comfy. I love that they sit higher up the ankle, and also there is a zip on the inside. These are faux suede, and I'm very impressed with these. Next are some hair favorites, first being this Schwarzkopf Got To Be Playful Styling Primer. I had this in my drawer, and it had a picture of a plait along it, and ever since Fortaventura, I've been wearing my hair in French plaits. I got my mum to redo it and this I put in and it really tamed my hair. It really helped with any flyaways and gave a much neater hairstyle. The first time we did it, we didn't put this in and my hair just kind of looked fluffy and it didn't really last as well. And then the next time we took it out, brushed it through, my hair was just massive, like just crazy from the waves and brushing it out. So I applied this product onto my hair, dry hair, like kind of focusing on the flyaway bits and running it through the ends. It just really tamed it, kind of did give some grip to it, like it says on this. Didn't make it feel greasy or heavy or anything like nasty, it felt completely fine. And then when my mum was patting my hair, it just, all the hair just went so much better into the hairstyle and also I probably should add some now because I am getting a few like little flyaway bits but this works a treat and it smells so good so this is meant to add grip, lasting control, easier styling, soft touch. Obviously I've been wearing my extensions and I'm not even wearing the full set and if you want to install extensions in your hair when you are wearing a French plait, it is, is best to cut some of the wefts down. At the bottom I have two four clip wefts which I cut down the middle, then I have two clip wefts and a one clip weft. I just miss a bit of colour in my hair and also the length and obviously as my hair is a much more blunter cut than previously when I wore extensions, I can't really get them to blend and also like my hair isn't light enough to blend with the extensions because the hair is a lot lighter but then with a plait it does give a nice gradient and I think it works quite well. Basically I'm going to wear my hair like this for a long time and I love it so just wearing my extensions again. I do have another set which I really want to wear but I need to get my hair back to blonde. I have the Foxy Locks I forgot what they're called, but they're basically the longest and the thickest ones. So when I'm back to blonde, I'm going to do some videos of those. My favourite experience is was obviously Fortaventura when I went away with Boohoo. I got to go and see behind the scenes of their next TV advert, which will be up now, and I've linked everything down below. I would have vlogged it on my second channel, and I also got to do a lookbook when I was out there. And it was filmed so well, I'm so excited to share that with you. If you haven't seen it already, please do check it below. I'm not going to be in the advert this time, there was no need for any extras, so my one second cameo will not be happening again. If you saw my one last year, I was in the one we went to Dubai. I was just so happy to get to go back and see everyone because I made such good friends with all of the crew when I went previously because I was just running around just mingling with everyone and I had such a good time and yeah, it was just so nice to be asked to come back again. All the filming was done all in one day. Previously it was all done in two days. It's just really interesting seeing it come from storyboard to fruition. My next favourite is booking tickets to go to LA with Yannin. As this is now now live I am actually in LA and the go me for being scheduled and actually being organized and getting it done up in time whilst I'm away gallivanting hopefully hopefully in the sunshine it should be warm then right I went previously last April and it was so much fun. I'm just so happy and I wanted me to go again and to see all the friends that I made out there as well and just it's just so nice to escape because at the moment it's freezing in England. Music favourites, I have two this time. The first one is Bring Me The Horizon. Bring Me The Horizon. <laughs> 
Bring Me the Horizon Drowned. I've been listening to this on the radio and after it's on I can't stop humming it and singing it. I haven't actually watched the video to that so I should try watching that after this. And the next one is Alicia Cara here. I like when I listened to the song it just sounded like a story and I liked in my head you're just at a party and someone is bugging you, you don't want to be there, you don't want them to be there, you just want them everyone to go and I quite liked how as I was listening to it I was really picturing the scenario because sometimes when I listen to songs I'm not really listening to the words as much it's more of the rhythm or I don't know the chorus and I'm not necessarily listening to everything else but as soon as I heard that one I just was engaged with it and I really liked it. So those were my favourites of February. I hope you like these. Let me know about the lighting and I'm sure that my eyes look really freaky so I won't be wearing these again. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.